like I said, this is the easiest and the surest way of Mrs. Gandhi getting assassinated. Please do the following thing, because tomorrow will be too late. You also talk about this one incident when you are driving past uh, uh, the mm. Prime Minister's residence and you see a Sikh bodyguard. Yes, yes. You and uh, you write a note. Twenty-first of actually October, ten days before Mrs. Gandhi was assassinated, I was coming from Canal Place side on Akbar Road. I just about to take left turn on Savdar Jang Road towards Jim Khana Club. I see two policemen, one Sikh and one Hindu. Sabdajang Road is where the Prime Minister's, Prime Minister's home is. And one Akbar Road is the office. Hmm. So that confluence, there is a corner, roundabout. And at that time, I saw two policemen, one Sikh and one Hindu, carrying stain guns. My wife was sitting in front of me and my son and daughter. My son still remembers what I said. I said, who has brought the Sikh? This is the easy, because I knew that they were withdrawn. And it was a sudden shock. I said, this is the easiest and the surest way of Mrs. Gandhi getting assassinated. So next morning I come to office. It was 22nd of October. Then I started writing a note in hand. And then this, I saw this thing. And I said, okay, Mrs. Gandhi will be assassinated within 10 days. This is the easiest and surest way I wrote. Please do the following thing. Please remove this six forthwith because tomorrow will be too late. I did not know how, when are they, they will kill. And then again I say, please inquire as to how they were brought and whom they have. So I've written that note. I told my secretary, Sita Lakshmi, please prepare the envelope on that right to be opened by uh, the addressee only. Then I thought, that if that if they they kill her today, then I'll be hauled up that I was a part of the conspiracy and I am trying to do my Peshbandi. Then I said, Sita, I'll hand over personally to secretary to go. Then I shredded that thing. But you weren't the only one. Uh, they, already an SOP was in place that uh, the Sikh bodyguards had to be taken off. You've written about that. Mm. But Mrs. Gandhi brought them back. And then there was, um, Mr. Kao had said that two Mm. Uh, Sikh bodyguards not together at the same time. Jeez. And then even that SOP was broken. Yeah, I Raman, mean, series of mistakes. Raman has written in his book all this thing because he used to be attending meetings also. Hmm. And the, he has written that two persons very close to Rajiv Gandhi used to attend those top secret meetings. He has not named, but I'm sure Arun Nehru or Arun Singh, I have definite information that these two people used to meet Mr. Kao in, 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 in his operational office. So they were very active. And he has written that they did not have any authority to sit on those meetings. Mm -hmm.